Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is, I'm calling it my Painter's Palette box. And I wanted to show off the Painter's Palette stamp set and the Playful Palette paper, and one of our new in colours, and I love it. And it's a, it's a skinny little box. You put, you know, put small treats in here, but definitely little treats, and little treats are always very well received. Um, you know, you could put just a little something in, in it, just to give somebody just to say, I was thinking of you and you can get two of these boxes from a sheet of cardstock now this is sweet sugar plum beautiful color I'm gonna be using peekaboo peach and there is a real it's a real marmite kind of um, color you either love it or you hate it schools out with me I'm not really sure whether I like it or not um, but I'm using it and I'm, I'm making myself use it so six and a half by five and a half inches 16 by 14 centimeters and yes you can get two from a sheet of cardstock and you score it on the long side at one three four and six inches which in metric is two and a half seven and a half ten and fifteen and then you come along and make a little mark at the top at the half inch mark and the three and a half inch mark, which is one and a quarter centimetres, 1.25 centimetres and 8.75 centimetres. These parts with the little marks turn to the right, right hand side, and score it at one inch over on the left or two and a half centimetres. Okay, so we move that out of the way and then grab a ruler. And I have got a steel ruler. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's just on the edge of my desk. And what we're going to do is going to do some long diagonal lines here and here to get, join from that little mark we've made down to the bottom of this closest score line. And do both of those. And we're making this really tall, long triangular shape. And that is so that this closes beautifully here. Because we like a nice close, don't we? Okay, so, whoops. Grab your bone folder. I managed to put away. Burnish your score lines, but ignore those diagonal lines at the moment. Because they will naturally go. We'll give them a little bit of help now, but they will naturally move. So, just gently start them at the top and they're folding in the opposite direction like I say don't don't stress about it don't push too hard they're going to naturally move okay that's the top of the box a pair of scissors down at the bottom we've got a skinny part here I'm going to get rid of that and then cut straight up these score lines as well. Okay, we want to put a panel on it and now double check which is going to be your back. So it's the section that has got this loose edge here. That's this one is the back, so this one is the front, which is where you're going to put your paper. And I thought I cut a piece of paper. Oh, I did. It's right, in, it's right in front of me. It's exactly the same pattern that I did before. This is one and three quarters by four and a quarter, so four and a half by 11 centimetres. I've gone with the same and I wanted to see what it looks like on a different colour background. You know me, I like to see if I can make something look different. OK, so that's stuck down. So now I want to put some snail down this part. two snails on the go next to me, one of which is finished. Stick that down, close in, this is the back where the seam is, so closing the two sides and the back, and then some snail on here, sorry, fuse or adhesive of your choice on there. And if you push your fingers in at the sides while pinching, these score lines now come into effect and they will fully score down as much as you know as, as where you've scored cool huh okay grab a decent punch one with a bit of oomph behind it and we're going to punch a hole through both the front and the back at 
the same time. And I've got my ribbon in it. This is the matching, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, Peekaboo Peach ribbon. So, let's establish which is the front. Go through the front and through the back. So it's like that. Take this part that is the back, fold it, we're going to take it over that bit and then in through the inside of the front. Let's poke that through. Can't see what I'm doing right now. There we go. So hopefully you can see what it's doing. So there's two bits coming through the front and it's coming over at the back. You don't need to do a knot, a bow is enough. And that keeps it closed. And then somebody can get into it without shredding the box or the ribbon to get to it. There we go. And just to finish off, a little bit of stamping, and I wanted to bring out the Painter's Palette stamp set. It's this one here, A Little Expression of Love. And it's not a photopolymer stamp, so make sure you've got your, you've got it lined up on your block properly. Um, my panels, my this is for my label, this coloured one is one and a quarter by two and three quarter inches, so three by seven centimetres. This one is one by two and a half which is two and a half by six and a half centimetres. So I'm lining up, I try not to get my head in the camera, lining up my block on the grid paper and then my stamp on that. Got my peekaboo peach. You could use your stamp -a magic for this. I'm being brave. I'm going to line my cardstock up on the grid paper and take it off to the left. Just make sure I've got it the right way around. I really, really hope that has worked. Oh, it has! Marvellous! Triple banner punch. Oh, it helps if I open it. And then this one here. This one is too wide for the bottom and too narrow for the top, so you kind of have to get it in position and if you need to flip it over and double check you're lined up and that will sit over the top and you get this nice bannered flag and then some fuse on there oh I forgot do the speckledy splats oh and I can't do it now because I fused it oh silly me <laughs> I put some speckledy splats on that one it's cute but you can see what the what it looks like it's the same pattern it's a different color and you could even do it with the emerald envy as well anyway I hope you like my little painter's box thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon bye <laughs>